Today we make flow charts the only way we know how on our iPads. This episode brought to you by GoToMeeting. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at an app a day to keep your iPad in play. Welcome to Thursday Productivity Day, and I think it's Thursday. I, I, I'll tell you something, a little, little side story here. I got so turned around, I didn't realize I was technically a day behind on my Day in Tech History show, and I was publishing for the next day, so I caught it up. I caught it up, and everything still, you know, it still came out every single day. It just seemed that, that it was yesterday's, and it came out later to Anyway, we're all caught up. We're now, it, it's now, you, if you go to dayintechhistory.com, you'll go and you'll actually see today's tech history. Full rundown, audio format. It's great, and having a lot of fun with that. I always have fun with that. That's been a long-running show. I've been doing that for over five years. I've got a full rundown of technology history, always trying to grow that. So, of course, if you've got any insight, anything you want to contribute, go over to www.dayintechhistory, dayintechhistory.com. Of course, search on Day in Tech History. It'll be pretty much on the close to the top of the Google charts there. And uh, and and give it a like. Give you know, give it a comment. Uh, tell me what you think. Plus one it, and uh, and of course that will help me uh, get some more stuff. And of course you can always donate money to Day in Tech History too, because it always needs a little bit of extra help to get things going. Anyway, with all that said, <laughs> let's get into today's iPad app. Of course, over at iPad 365. You know, you see, you see a lot of different flowcharts out there, and you like to. I, I, I know I've always had fun, you know, pulling up a Microsoft Word document and doing flowcharts, and it's always been fun. But what's really cool is now you can do it with the iPad. So you could sit on a plane, you could sit in a bus terminal, you could be sitting waiting for your girlfriend to get done with something. And it's like, okay, let me let me create a quick flowchart. A program like iDesk will be one of those flowchart programs that you could use. Uh, there's two flavors to iDesk. You get a free flavor and then of course the paid flavor, which I believe is something like $6.99. I'm not sure, you'll have to check the app store to make sure the price is, is what I'm thinking. But it's a very straightforward to use flowchart system. You call up a page and then you draw a shape and of course you can tell it, hey, okay, I want you to, if, if I draw a circle, turn it into a circle. If I draw a square, turn it into a square. And with a perfect square as opposed to the square that I drew on the screen. And then of course I can put text to it. I can change the color of it. I can move around the box. I can resize the box or the circle. And I can uh, I can put it into a flow chart. When I have two shapes, all I have to do is draw a line from one to the other and it creates an arrow. And I've created a flow chart. I created a flow chart are you watching iPad 365, which of course, if you go to geekazine.com, you'll see the, uh, the actual flowchart there. Pretty cool stuff, very easy to use, and simply, if you, if you look at the flowchart, it just basically says, do you watch iPad 365? Yes. Perfect. Continue to watch it. No. Why didn't you watch it? Can you download it? Can you not download it? If you can't download it, let me know iPad 365 being the Twitter, and of course iPad 365 show be at gmail.com being the email address. Couple little caveats I really didn't care too much for. Um, I couldn't do anything more than a square or a, a circle in perfect shape. I did a triangle and it was off. I tried to do a stop sign because that's usually a, a, a marker in creating flow charts, and every time I tried to do a stop sign, it turned it into a circle. I tried doing some different shapes, like the parallelogram and the uh, the uh, the other shapes that you would see in a flow chart, and the snap to feature didn't know how to deal with it. Sometimes it would just leave it as it is, and it looked like a really deformed shape, which I really didn't want in my flow chart. So hopefully these guys will actually put in a couple shapes, or maybe even a box where I can choose a shape rather than draw the shape, because that would be really nice to have. Maybe in the pro feature, then maybe that's what you get, but uh, it looks like you got a lot of features in this light version, which is really cool. You can also change the backgrounds, and when you're done with it, all you have to do, you can send it as a picture on your iPad, or you can email it to yourself, or you can send it to some other people. You can even put it into your Dropbox or, or, or iCloud, which is pretty cool. But uh, it, it's a fun little uh, program. You can create a whole bunch of nice little flowcharts and get meetings going and stuff like that. And you can do that with this program. Once again, 
And you can do that with this program. Once again, it's called iDesk. I always wanna look at the, the iPad every time I look at the program just to make absolutely sure I'm saying the name correctly. Okay, so you created this flowchart. Now you wanna show everybody the flowchart and explain what it is. That's why you need a program like GoToMeeting. With HD faces, not only can they see your screen, but you can also see their their faces and they can see your face. So you say, hey, Joe, you're looking at this flow chart and you, you're not flowing with it. What's the problem? What what do we need to fix? Joe causes gives his concerns and then all of a sudden you fix the problem and you move on with the meeting. Of course, you cannot create a meeting through your iPad, but you can create a meeting through a PC or a Mac and then you can watch a meeting and be a part of the meeting through your iPad. So if you're not in the office, let's say you had to go home to tend to the kids, or maybe you were on a, a call and you had you stopped at a coffee shop, grabbed the Wi-Fi access, or have the new iPad with the 4G access, you can actually join that meeting and be part of it and, and not lose a beat with anything. This is a great program. I've used it for years and it's never caused me a problem. But don't take my word for it. Try it yourself, 30 day free trial by going over to gotomeeting.com. Click that try it free now button, enter in the code podcast. Podcast gets you 30 days of this great software and it's brought to you by GoToMeeting. So go over to gotomeeting.com, enter in the code podcast. Of course, it helps keep the lights on over at iPad 365 and I thank you for that. Before we, uh, before we go out, I wanted to do a quick shout out to Stitcher, of course, Stitcher Internet Radio. Uh, we do an audio version as well as a video version of the show. So if you're, you can't watch the show, you can listen to the show. And you can use a program like Stitcher Internet Radio to get your show. Um, all you have to do is download the app. If you go to stitcher.com forward slash geek, Enter in your email address and download the app for your iOS, your Android, your WebOS, or your BlackBerry device. You could actually win yourself $100. They draw at the end of every month. So who doesn't want $100? You know, what could you do with $100? Get yourself an Apple TV for $100, the brand new one. You could uh, go take your wife out to a steak dinner or something like that. Lots of cool things. So uh, once again, Stitcher Internet Radio. The best part about Stitcher Internet Radio is uh, that iTunes can't do is you can actually set up favorites, so when one podcast is done playing, it goes to the next podcast. I love that option. So, But anyway, Stitcher Internet Radio, thanks, uh, thanks to those guys. They've always been friends. We've talked back and forth, done a lot of stuff together. So uh, once again, check it out over at Stitcher. In the meantime, that is uh, iPad365. What did you like? What didn't you like about this application? Let me know. Uh, Twitter me over at iPad365. Of course, the email is always iPad365 at gmail.com and of course you can also contact me through geekazine at geekazine.com got a contact form there anything else you can send a smoke signal and i'll answer it i will i really will I, i'll have no idea how to answer it i'll just be going and that's it but i'll try and answer it as best as i can and you'll go what well, uh, you, you, you like bumblebees I, I don't i don't get that anyway We'll be back in 24 with another episode of iPad 365. It is viewer's choice, but we're going to get your mode running because we've got an app for you for all you muscle car people out there. Of course, I went and drove a Mustang, and now I'm going to show you how you can get your Mustang, which is pretty cool. So we'll do that in 24 when it will be another iPad 365. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.